Hey guys, it's me, Emma, and welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a full glam Christmas party or New Year's party look. So this is a pretty full coverage look. And the eyeshadow I'm wearing today is actually super easy. It's using the Soft Glam palette right here. And I literally use three eyeshadows in it. It's super simple, not a lot of skill required, but a lot of blending is needed and you will see that in the video. And if you stay tuned for the end, I'm gonna show you a really nice outfit I would wear if I was going up to this party too. So like this is probably the hair I would do, curl it, this is the makeup, and I'm also going to show you the outfit. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I post every Sunday, so if you subscribe, you can see my next video next Sunday, which is going to be my plastic surgery Q&A. And if you don't already know, I have had plastic surgery and it was my nose. So that's what the video next Sunday is going to be about if we get this channel to 50 subscribers but if not i'll probably post something else so let's try to get 50 subscribers and i'll post the surgery q a next sunday and if you have any questions that you want to be answered in the video comment them down below i already did a poll on my instagram so if you participated in that and thanks so much and if you didn't you should follow me on instagram or participate in them so you can help choose what my future youtube videos will be so my instagram is at i'm emma hoffman and uh, I'll leave the link in the description so it's super easy to follow. And if you follow me, then yeah, you can help choose my future videos. And then I could do the content you want to see. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And stay till the end to see the outfit I wear. Okay, let's go. Chopstick first. Okay, so first off, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever uh, Ultra HD Foundation. And I'm going to be using the shade... Y215 and I'm using this one because it's a super full coverage foundation and if you're going to be going out to a party this is what's going to get you that full coverage look. The foundation is not going to go anywhere. It's really skin like so you're not really going to notice like it, you won't be able to tell you're wearing foundation like it's good. And next I'm going to be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm using this because it's super full coverage, super hydrating so it's not going to crease under your eyes and you're not, definitely not going to see any dark circles under your eyes. Next we're going to be using our Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and this is going to basically keep your makeup in place all night and it's not going to give you flashback and it's going to keep you from creasing and if, you're, if you have oily skin and don't want to look super shiny, this is the perfect thing for you and you just have to make sure to apply it in your T-zone and just really pack that shit on. So next is eyebrows and I'm going to be using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade 3. And I'm just going to be brushing them out first and then just filling in the tips of my eyebrows. And now to set them in place, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This stuff does make your eyebrows a little bit crunchy, so just go light with it or you're going to have crunchy eyebrows. Mm -hmm. 
This product is especially good if you want to get that more bushy eyebrow effect and you can brush your hairs up and kind of keep them in place. Okay, so next I'm going in with the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow, shadow primer and this is going to be really good because I'm doing a really pigmented eyeshadow look today so this is going to keep it from uh, creasing and it's going to make it more pigmented and just help your eyeshadow stay on all night. So I would highly recommend if you take away anything from this video, take away this product. Okay, so for today's look, we're going to be using the Soft Glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And these are, these are the colors we're using today. This eyeshadow look is going to be super easy. I'm only using three eyeshadows and it's going to look like you put a lot of effort into it when you really didn't and it was super easy. So first I'm going to be going with the shade Mulberry right here. Burgundy, like a deep burgundy color right there. And we're just gonna be packing that all over the lid with a flat shader brush. So this is gonna look a little bit crazy at first, but I promise it will come together. So next we're going to be using this shade Sienna right here and uh, we're going to be using our blending brush and just blending that in the crease to uh, obviously blend out that harsh line. Ooh, that was a lot of product. Okay, so now that that's somewhat uh, blended out, we're gonna be going in with the shade Cypress Umber right here. And uh, we're just gonna be packing that on with the, I used the other end of the brush that comes with the palette. And I'm gonna be packing that on the outer corner to give the look some more dimension and make it look a little more smoky. Next, to top off the eyeshadow look, I'm going to be going in with the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Smoldering Satin. I'm just going to be putting this in the center of my eyelid to give it a pop and almost like mimic a, cr a cut crease, but I'm not going to do any of that. So I'm going to be going back into the palette and I'm going to be taking the shade, this uh, mulberry shade on the end again. And uh, I'm just going to be blending out the glitter. I'm going to be using my Lash Paradise Mascara before I apply my false lashes. Okay, so I'm going to be applying these false lashes right here. They actually don't have a brand. I just picked them up at my university I go to, but like this is what they look like. And uh, I'll be right back after I put these on. Okay, I'm back with the lashes on. This is how it looks. I think the window I'm filming in front of is washing out the look a bit. So I'm going to show you in another lighting setting after I'm all done, just so you can see, because I think it's washing out a bit, but uh, whatever. So next thing I'm going to be going in with my It Cosmetics U, U Sculpted Universal Contouring Palette. And uh, I'm just going to be taking the light contour shade right there and uh, bronzing up my face. Next 
I'm going to take this little blush from Tarte and I'm going to use the shade Parte. Nope. Now I'm going to be spraying my face with the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Plenishing Primer and Setting Spray. And I'm going to do this right before my highlighter, so the highlighter is popping. Oh, today I'm going to be using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlight and I'm going to be using the shade in Pearl. It's super white. Okay, so last but not least, we're going to be taking two Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks and we're going to be taking the color Spice. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm going to be putting that all over my lips and then in the center of my lips to lighten the look, I'm going to be using the shade Buff, which is a slightly lighter nude. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the makeup look. So now I'm gonna go show you the outfit I would be wearing. And uh, yeah. Okay, so this is the outfit I would wear. This is just a velvet off the shoulder Fashion Nova dress. And I'll tag it down below if uh, I could find the same one. And then I just paired some little black booties with it. That's the look.